Hey, hey, and welcome back to So Shezzy. All right, today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the ways I hack patterns I like to make them patterns I love. We're going to be working on the perky shorts from Pup Rita, and I may be saying that incorrectly, but these shorts are not drafted to have side seams, so they don't have pockets. But I particularly like the fit of these on my boys, and I've been looking everywhere for this rack. It's exactly what I want, but for me, pockets are a must-have. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start with some pattern tracing paper and I always use the one with the grid lines to help with accuracy. And since we're gonna be adding a seam, we have to include the seam allowance. I'm placing the center of the shorts on the inch line and placing the paper a quarter of an inch behind that. Then I'm gonna use pattern weight or whatever I have to hold the paper in place and I'm gonna go ahead and trace it. Now I'm using a pocket piece from a pattern that's similar so that I can notch it. I'm gonna cut it out. Never forget to label it so you know exactly what it is the next time you use it. And I'm gonna trace the pocket as well. Okay, now is the fun part. We're gonna cut our pattern out that we have just traced. And if, if you can see, this says woven on here because these shorts come in a woven and a knit version, which I absolutely love. And I plan to make a lot of these over the next few weeks. We're traveling, we're going, um, on vacation and so I'm gonna be making my kids a bunch of shorts. I actually even think I will make these as swim trunks because I like the fit of them so much. So I will use the liner from another pattern that I have so they'll be fully lined and I will definitely keep you guys updated on that. All right, so we're adding the pockets and um, there are four pockets. So we're gonna add all four pockets and then we're gonna join these up. Surging this style pocket can get a little tricky, so always go really slowly when you're doing it. I know it looks like I'm going really fast because I sped up the video, but I always go slowly to make sure that I stay as close to the pocket as possible, but don't cut any of my shorts off. And here we have it. We have our side seam pockets on our shorts. Now I am quartering the elastic because that is the best way to get it all even. I'm going to sew this in and I am going to add buttonholes because I love a drawstring and that's also a necessity for all of the shorts or joggers, any bottoms that I make for my boys. So that's not included in the pattern but you know I've done it enough to know how to do it so I'm going to go ahead and do that on these. And I used to hate doing buttonholes because my machine would eat up my fabric and I could never get it right. And one day I decided to try double layer interfacing, just putting two layers directly on top of each other. And that has been the resolution to all of my nightmares. All right, and here we have it, the final product. The perfect fit for my boys. I don't have to worry about these kind of riding up in the crotch area when my kids walk or play. And I'm sure I'll be making a ton of these and hacking them in different ways. So let's stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you learned something. Um, like and subscribe and let me know if you have any question in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.